me see. All right. And um, let me see, participants. Oh, gracious. Um, Matthew Rodriguez, I'm gonna make you co-host and um, just don't admit any more um, well, Colby's not in here anymore. Wait a second. Just don't worry about admitting Colby. I don't know what's going on with that situation. Uh, just leave him in the waiting room. All right, and Kaylee Contreras. They, they must be having technical difficulties this morning. So I'll make sure I upload our lesson this morning because I am recording now. So like I was saying in your slides, you've got three days to do your Lexia and your IXL. Also at the beginning, there is the agenda with the active link so that you guys can just click on it within the slides. I will continue posting the echo agenda in echo and in google classroom as well but in order to give you guys one place with all of your stuff i've also included kind of a weekly agenda here um so now let's talk about your science so you guys are going to be creating a whirly gig this week and we're going to be following the engineering design process so first of all I'm sure many of you are, are wondering what is a whirly gig? Well, a whirly gig is an object that spins or whirls and has at least one part that spins or whirls. They could be known as pinwheels, buzzers, comic weather vanes, yeehaws, spinners, whirly gigs, whirly jigs, whirly, uh, whirly birds, or just a plain whirly. They're most commonly powered by wind, but they can be powered by hand friction or motor powered. Um, for this, activity you are going to create one that can be powered by the wind and we learned a weather tool that um, tells us the direction that the wind is going to blow in what is the name of that weather tool that turns in the direction that the wind is blowing from and it points Who can remember? You can unmute yourself if you can remember. A wind vane? Yes, a wind vane. And you know what, guys? I'm just sitting here talking and reading off of these slides like you can see them, but you can't see them because I'm not sharing my screen. So now, now you can see what I'm talking about. So we're going to follow the engineering design process throughout this week in order to create our very own whirly gig. So um, today you guys are gonna be learning about what is the engineering design process and identifying the need, which I've already identified for you. So you're just gonna kinda get your wheels turning or your gears turning and uh, start thinking about what you could create, maybe what type of um, materials you could use if you want to go ahead and work ahead um, and do your Wednesday science as well you want to keep brainstorming and, and that type of thing and, and designing your really gig you're more than welcome to do that that's the awesomeness of having your weekly slides if you get really excited about this today and you want to do more then by all means work ahead but this is what I need for you guys to check. I need for you to check and make sure that when you click slides two and three, that it takes you to another presentation that will take you through the engineering design process. So everybody right now needs to go on your weekly slides and make sure that you can open up the design process presentation. And give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down after you try it and see if it'll work for you.
All right, I'm starting to see people popping up in there. So I'm thinking that it is working correctly. It may be a bit much for your iPads to handle because this is a pretty large presentation, uh, which is why I did not make a copy for everybody because it has a lot of videos embedded in it, uh, which is which is why I linked it to our weekly slide. So I want everybody to come back because if one or two of you can get in there, I know that everybody can. I just wanted to make sure that you guys had access to it. Hmm. Will it let you do another picture? Okay, I'll, I'll look at it here in just a little bit, okay? It is 9.13. Yes. All right, so... Yes, I know. I know it's lagging. That's why I've asked everybody to go ahead and just come back because it is a lot for your iPads to handle, especially with the size of this presentation. So you guys are only required today to do slides two, three, four, and five of this other presentation. And there's going to be no way for me to know whether or not you did slides two, three, four, and five until the very end because I will know whether or not you have done thoughtful planning as you have designed your whirly gig. Also on slide five it says your design must use only materials you find around the house in your garage or shed or any place at home where you have stuff. It could be your attic, could be your basement, could be your carport, could be your bedroom, could be a junk drawer or a closet. Um, so any place in or around your house and you can only use materials and elements approved, of course, by your parents or your guardians, whoever is in charge of you at home, do not go and take apart your mom's or your grandma's little pinwheel in their garden because you see that it's catching wind. That would be a no, no. Or tomorrow we're going to talk about, uh, some different, um, ways that you can catch wind to catch the air resistance to, to move things. Um, and I don't want you going and right in your, your parents' kitchen and using all their kitchen utensils for your whirly gig. Unless, of course, they have approved that. Um, measuring cups are a good thing to hang to catch air. Uh, there's a, just a bunch of different ways that you guys can do this. Um, you cannot use a complete purchase toy kit. So if somebody brought, bought you something to make a windmill out of, you cannot finally unbox that toy and build the windmill and say, oh, I made a whirly gig. No. Um, but you can use parts from purchase toys or kits. So um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with uh, Fidget spinners. Fidget spinners are great at spinning. So if you can find a way to attach things to a fidget spinner to catch the wind, that would be really cool. Um, and that would be using a purchase toy to create something else. Of course, we don't want you to damage any of your furniture, walls, or whatever. Um, this is the last design challenge that well, there may be one more design challenge, but this is the last one that I'm gonna walk you guys through. And I expect to have as much participation as absolutely possible in this design challenge because it's gonna be really cool. Also, on your weekly slides, so don't get confused about where you are. If, if you're looking for where you're gonna be writing your response or uploading your picture, it's always gonna say the day of the week and then science and reading at the top. But 
This Whirly Gig Design Challenge picture here is actually a link to the uh, web page for the design challenge. So, um, this design challenge, it also has more information that you can find out about Whirly Gigs. You can learn about the Whirly Gig Park that's in Wilson, North Carolina, which is right up near Goldsboro, which is really cool. You can uh, check out some of the Whirly Gigs that are at that park and museum. You can read the story of the museum there. We've actually found out um, that he may be one of the judges for this competition, so that's really exciting. Here's a couple pictures of some of his Whirly Gigs. These are really fancy. Not really expecting you guys to do anything quite so fancy, but um, these are really cool. And um, there's also some more examples of what a Whirly Gig might look like. Uh, around your house or maybe in a garden. Um, they don't all have to be like a windmill. I'm sure some of you probably have these types of whirly gigs hanging up around your house and they kind of spin as the wind blows through them. You can make a spinner. Spinners are really easy to make. Um, there's also another link here so that you can gain even more ideas. What I'm going to do is I'm throughout the week, I'm going to go through and pull out some useful information and it's going to be linked in these slides that are going to walk you through the engineering design process. So I'm going to kind of do some research for you, but I definitely encourage you guys to do your own research. Um, so that is all I've got for you today. Are there any questions or does anybody have any ideas right off the bat? I'm going to stop sharing. Anybody have any questions? I'm looking for some of my kids to become famous like Alora and be featured in a news article. Um, there was a WNCT, WCTI, I don't know, one of them, um, did a news article and Alora's, um, which challenge was it? Oh, the moving something from six feet from one place to another. Hers was featured in that, so it was really cool. Um, I wasn't expecting to see that. Maybe I can find the video while we while we chat here. Y'all can watch it, watch the news article. Maybe some of you guys can become internet famous. Uh, Riley Eubanks, I see that you, yes, the Don't Go Viral Challenge. Yes, Marley, you're absolutely correct. Uh, Riley Eubanks, you had a thumbs down. Were you able to access the other presentation? No. When you click the link, did it not take you to it? It said page not found. Okay. okay. I will add that link to your weekly slides assignment. So also all of our recorded lessons will also go to the weekly slides assignment. Uh, so okay. that, that'll just kind of be like a, a growing assignment, I guess. Um, but you will only have viewing rights for that uh, that document. It will not, you will not be able to edit that one. All right, uh, Christian, you got your hand up? Do we have to do this challenge? Yes. You have to submit something for the challenge because your grade this week is going through the engineering design process. So you do not have to, if you do not want to upload your video, like if you don't want to, Pete in the the grand challenge you don't have to um, but you will have to submit a video to me showing me your design I want you guys thinking outside of the box we are running out of time together and this is the type of stuff that I would usually do at the end of the year um, and 
like after EOGs. So this is kind of what we're doing. Uh, next week, we're going to be having your assessments to kind of assess how much you've learned this year and that type of thing. So uh, this is going to kind of be our fun project week. I think Ms. McLean's going to finish up y'all's room designing project this week. Uh, I'm going to, we're going to do the whirly gig design thing this week. So yes, this one is mandatory in order for you to get your credit for this week for me. Yes, Trapper? Are we allowed to use a welder? Are you allowed to use what? A welder. A welder? Yeah, it's something that uh, like makes metal connect to metal. I know what a welder is, and yes, if you've got a welder and you need to weld metal with adult supervision and proper safety equipment, yes, you may use a welder. All day, all night. And also at the after class. Huh? Tell you something after class. So. Oh, okay. That will be cool. Does anybody else have any questions or comments? That was a good question, uh, Christian. But yes, since this is the only thing you guys have to do this week, this is absolutely mandatory. It is not in addition to anything else. Um, any questions or does anybody have any ideas? No? Man, you guys have a lot to say. Y'all had a long weekend and y'all come back and it's just silent. Today's the best day ever. Today's the best day ever. Why? Because I only have to read. Um, so I don't no, you are reading Sideways Story. Well, I don't have to do work on it. Why? Because. Because why? She didn't post it. She just said read it. Hmm. And then also, she said do 20 minutes of that stuff. Oh. All right, guys, so before I send you on your way to learn more about the engineering design process and to think about what you may be creating this week, I am going to share with you the news article that uh, there have been two. There's one, there's one in WNCT, but I was able to pull up the Spectrum News one. So we're going to watch the Spectrum News article. It's only a minute and 45 seconds, and then you guys are going to enjoy the rest of your day until family time. Here we go. Learning levels up with the STEM Infusion Challenge. Oh, Laura. Fleet Readiness Center East and Craven County Schools partner to make at-home learning fun. They've come up with so many cool ideas, um, and the challenges have been great so far. Um, a lot of them have been tailored to solving problems that have been presented by the coronavirus. Things like designing a Rube Goldberg machine, which teaches students to find complex ways to accomplish a seemingly simple task. For example, turning on the lights without touching the light switch. Let there be light. Parents are getting involved. Siblings are working together doing these things. And seeing them all laughing, smiling, um, even pets. Sometimes they get pets involved. There we go. Students have been out of school since mid-March. Smith says it can be hard to keep kids engaged with online learning. These challenges are geared to shake things up and get kids out of their chair and interacting with family. Water. Thank you. And a lot of kids really enjoy and learn best from those hands-on learning activities, and they haven't been able to get them through a screen. So now we've given them the opportunity. The STEM challenges also give kids a look into a day in the life of an engineer, and organizers hope it inspires students to pursue STEM careers locally. It's been really cool to see um, them be so creative uh, without the prompting of a teacher or uh, an engineer looking over their shoulder and saying, hey, how could you make this different? So here we go. Students of all ages are invited to participate. Judges choose winners and share the videos on the FRC East Facebook page. In Craven County, Ann Cook, Spectrum News. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Super cool. Um, and it also gives you an idea of the way that's 
some other people uh, completed some of the challenges, but this challenge is mandatory. It is creating a whirly gig, and uh, I decided to make this challenge mandatory also because we just finished the 21 Balloons book, and that book was all about inventors. So you guys are gonna become your very own inventors and engineers today and throughout the rest of the week and plan for a whirly gig of your own. All right, if you guys don't have anything else for me, I'm gonna give you about 30 minutes to work and um, maybe watch some videos or get ahead in your Lexia because you do have extra Lexia time that you gotta get um, which is why I took it easy on you today. So go ahead and get 40 minutes today. Bye. I love you. Mwah. Bye. Bye, Malachi. It's not that the thing that I want was tell my mom that I wanted to learn how to surf, and today I'm going. I'm learning how to surf. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be cool. Uh, are you gonna go when she gets off work? Huh? Are you gonna go when she gets off work? No, we're gonna go at six. We're gonna be meeting a guy because we know a guy that knows that guy, and uh, the guy that we told that that I wanted to surf was Bobby Wise. He owns his own surf shop and he makes his own surfboards. It's really cool. Yeah, that sounds really cool. And it's so super famous, uh, and he races dirt bikes like my brother does. So, wow. yeah. Well, that's awesome. I hope you have fun. Be safe. Yep. Yes, Haley Nemeth, do you have a question? I said Lexia, so I changed it on to Lexia Power Up. Huh? I finished Luxia and I can't get on to Luxia Power Up. Oh, no, you're fine. Yeah, you're good. You don't have Lexia to do. So I expect to see something really yeah. cool from you this week. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you later. Get your Lexia done, Rennick, Riley Bird, Colby. Get your Lexi done. Bye. I love you. Mean it.